First of all, you can reduce your risk of chronic disease, reduce your risk of things like heart disease, certain cancers, overweight and obesity. So there's lots of good reasons to consume plenty of fibre. There's so many different benefits of fibre. What we've known for a long time is that fibre is associated with less re risk of being overweight, less chances of getting diabetes and heart disease. What's new and exciting at the moment is the health benefits of fibre on in your gut, so how it feeds the healthy bacteria in your gut and all the health benefits that that might bring. That by increasing 10 grams of fibre in your diet, decreases your risk of cardiovascular disease by 19%. I mean, that's huge and it's very, very simple to approach as well. If I was to tell you that there was an easy change you could make to your daily life that would make you less likely to gain weight, less likely to get diabetes, have a stroke or heart attack, would you do it? Absolutely. So the answer is eat more fibre. Because of the benefits that it does provide, um, chronic diseases are a significant impact um, on the health of Australians and fibre has been shown convincingly to reduce the burden of a number of those diseases. Really to think about fibre at every meal occasion, breakfast, lunch, snacks, all the way through the day, that's the best way to make sure you've got plenty of fibre and plenty of plant foods. I think Eating a plant-based diet is a great way to start, but also eating a variety of plant foods every day. Um, there's, there's lots of tips and tricks that you can do to eat more fibre, but I think if we're eating regular meals and making plant-based foods the centre um, of most of our meals, then I think we'll be well on our way to eating um, optimal amounts of fibre. Well, look, the thing is, it's not hard to increase your fibre intake. You can do a daily vegetable juice. You could snack on things like nuts and seeds. You can have your two servings of fruit and your five servings of vegetables. You can really make some healthy swaps. So, you know, instead of white bread or wholemeal, do multigrain. Uh, instead of white conventional pasta, have multigrain or your know, wholemeal pasta. Make sure you're getting grains and legumes in the diet. But it's very, very simple overall. I have real concerns about whether Australians are consuming enough dietary fibre at the moment. We have some data that indicates that it really may not be what it should be and so more focus on fibre, getting more plant foods into your diet is going to be a good thing for all Australians. Look, what's obvious is that they're not getting enough fibre and what's even more obvious is that they're not even sure where to get fibre in their diet. So we need to make sure that the message is nice and clear. It's all about having a whole food diet, uh, having lots of good grains, fruits and vegetables, legumes, nuts and seeds, and we need to make sure people are getting that 25 to 40 grams of fibre a day.